Hello everybody, welcome to our YouTube channel, Jay Shri Shivaji. Today, let us continue reading the chapters of the book, The 5 AM Club, Own Your Morning, Elevate Your Life, by author Robin Sharma. The mainstream thinking tells us that to get more, don't, don't. We must put in more hours. To achieve more, we need to do more. But solid research now confirms that the kind of linear approach work harder to produce better is seriously flawed. It isn't suitable. It just leads to burnout, exhaustion, loss of inspiration and the reduction of your private fire to lead the field and enhance our world. That old school way of operating also causes a visceral depletion of the every human resource which if applied intelligently will make you the master of your market marketplace. What you are sharing reminds me of the 60-10 method remark remarked the artist happily. He was dress in, dressed in the riding gear the billionaire had provided and given his own daily practice to the 2020-20 formula as a member in good standing of the 5 a.m. club. He looked significantly fitter, more focused, more energetic and more self-confident than when he showed up at the Spellbinders conference. His transformation was quite marvelous. Super point, applauded the billionaire. And you are right, yet the learning model I am about to walk you through is so much more than that. Today, you will receive advanced insight on how to alternate work, rest periods to generate exponential productivity. You will also learn how to have a blast while you are doing it. This morning, you will discover how to work less yet materialize more through what pro athletes call period periodization after we are done you both will be well beyond any superficial understandings of what it makes takes to triumph in your sphere while living beautifully for the rest of your life the billionaire pointed to the part of the learning framework entered entitled the five assets of genius as you have now learned every morning you wake up with a full battery of creative power each dawn you awaken to a full fill of five private treasures that if properly managed will cause you to overcome the violence of your excuses and avoid the knife blade of your past limits so that the great hero encoded within your soul meets the light of day and enable you to become all you are meant to be as a marker, maker of spectacular work as a leader without a title and as a human being dedicated to living in an awe of life's most gorgeous graces, I am all in, exclaimed the artist. And as you know, now know, the five assets of genius continued Mr. Riley as he looked at the diagram. Are you mental fo Are your mental focus, your physical energy, your personal willpower, your original talent and your daily time? I repeat this so you will remember this. These primary assets are at highest early in the morning. That's why you want to start your day well and perform your most important pursuits during your most valuable hours instead of wasting this precious opportunity fooling around with your technology, watching the news or oversleeping. Got you, confirmed the entrepreneur ferociously taking notes in the ladder journal she received in Rome. A colorful scarf with elegant patterns on it gave her the ponytail a dramatic look this particular morning. And the essential point of today's lesson is this. The billionaire spoke at he, as he pointed to the center of the model. Top performance truly isn't a linear game. Light accomplishment is much more like a hard beat, more like a rhythm, more like a pulse. If you want to show up as a great master over decades, so you literally do dominate your domin domain for an entire career and lead a life you love, will into old age. You absolutely need to alternate high excellence cycles, those periods of intense and fantastic outputs with times of meaningful recovery, deep reviewing cycles. Please study this, the linear requested, tapping an index finger on the printed framework, just so clear, just so I'm clear, said the artist as he inhaled the fresh air. HEC is our high excellence cycle and DRC is our deep reviewing cycle. Yes, replied the billionaire. Today his black t-shirt had white lettering on it that read, Yes, I am in a relationship with myself. His weirdness was magnificent. And so your main move if you want enduring victory professionally as well as personally is to oscillate. The tycoon carried on to cycle periods of passionate, monomanically focused and potent work at the highest grades with blocks of time set for refueling, relaxing, recovering and pure fun. It really is like your heartbeat pulsing. I so love this concept. You are so kindly teaching us, noted the entrepreneur. This will be another needle mover for my business life and for my private world. Yes, it will be, agreed the billionaire succinctly. Growth does happen in resting phase. That's counter-intuitive, right? 
we have we have been programmed to think that if we are not creating and producing we are wasting our time we feel guilty if we are not doing but look at this the bears and unzipped a nylon carrying case that had been fast fastened around his waist he pulled out two medals that appeared to be made of gold and placed them around the necks of the entrepreneur and the artist as one would do in the celebration of a champion on each medal these words were engraved the legendary performance equation is to pressure into refueling is equal to growth plus endurance tennis great billy jean king said that the pressure is a privilege the billionaire reminded his two students see pressure and stress are in bad they are not question the entrepreneur nope they are actually absolutely necessary for the expansion of your capacity voice the billionaire you must push your talents hard the billionaire continued even when you don't want to do past your comfort zone only then they will grow always remember this time the time you least feel like doing something is the best time to do it and part of the reason for this as you also know now know is because when you enlarge your will power muscle in one important area your self discipline in every other area rises with you the larger point i am trying to make her in the pres- pressure and tre- stress are wonderful blessings that a player exploit our gifts don't increase when we stay in our safety circles no challenge and stretch your capacity past the normal muscles expand only when we take when we take them past our usual limits and then allow for some time to refuel and recover the billionaire surveyed the vineyard then he added i recall having a fascinating conversation with a pro athlete who showed up at one of my charity dinners you know what he told me what wondered the artist i rest to all of all my trainings to take effect pronounced the billionaire profound way of seeing things all work and no break depletes your greatness over time hmm murmured the entrepreneur rolling her mountain bike over to stake and leaning seat again against it if you want to build stronger abdominal muscles you stress them past their current boundaries said the billionaire if you usually do 100 sit ups you do 200 if you do if you if 200 is your daily code go up to 300 this actually causes the muscle to rip apart the exercise psych psy physiologists call the phenomenon micro tearing yet if you want the muscle to grow you can't keep exercising it relentlessly or you will experience injury you need to rest the muscle for a day or two and it is in that recovery cycle when the actual growth happens interjected the artist locking in on the principle he was learning absolutely correct enthused the billionaire growth happens in the resting phase not in the performing stage recall early on, on in our work together on my beach in matras i told you cats i grew up on a farm long before i moved to malibu think so spoke the entrepreneur matras feels like another lifetime ago well there is a metaphor that i learned at our farm at our farm that will help you fully understand the twin cycles of elite performance talk to any farmer and she'll tell you about the fallow season before it there is an intense period when the soil gets tilted tilled crop gets planted and serious work gets done then there's that season of resting seems like nothing's happening looks like time is wasting yet here's the near part it is in the fallow season that the harvest is really blossoming all the produce that shows during autumn is just the visible end result the billionaire slurred some morning coffee he sipped a little on his t-shirt the container that held the java had dream big start small it's begin now written on it a yellow butterfly with tender flopping wings that had blood blurred veins along them glilled by three eagles announced their authority overhead god i love butterflies the billionaire said wistfully and rainbows shooting stars full moons and glorious sunsets why be alive if you are not going to be totally alive I was like a, a robot when I was in 20s he admitted I took myself too seriously didn't have a minute to waste every hour was scheduled every car ride to have to have an audiobook running all flight time was about productivity here's the thing his voice trailed off as his eyes appeared lonely mel- melancholic and lost i was exhausted a lot of the time spellminder saved my life he really did and the model i am walking you through this morning helped immensely the billionaire took a deep breath then went on my assets of genius became eroded over time
my creativity was floundering as my effectiveness i have seen since realized that i am paid by my group of companies to think to come up with visions and ideas for new products and innovations then that will shatter the compass and deliver him- humongous value to all our clients around the world but i didn't understand that back then the spellbinder assist- assisted me enormously taught me the twin cycles of elite performance during our very first coaching session and insisted relentlessly that i am that implemented them instantly and consistently but boy did i fight him on this one it was just so against my nature to relax and breathe and to pause now i totally get that rest in the very thing that enables our primal greatness to unfold the entrepreneur nodded her head in understanding if i am not working i feel super guilty like i am go- doing something wrong self care is essential to self love i mark the ability all i am saying is now i understand that balance is vastly important to world class performance working on it day and night didn't make me more efficient at all it just made me more tired and cranky. Okay. so now i am i make the rest to t- time to rest to nourish myself to maintain bike to read books i have always wanted to read to enjoy a glass of excellent wine like the glass of amazing panado pinotag i saw word last night in this front of the blazing fire in my cottage here in the valley ironically as i have practiced this kind of recovery my creativity has multiplied my productivity has soared and my results have skyrocketed it's just so profound i work less have more fun and yet i get away more done mr freely then reached into the, his blue backpack and pulled out a piece of white material which looked like it came from the sale of a schooner remarkably you could see a drawing of albert einstein in a sailboat on it if you were there in that precious vineyard with them you would you would have seen this the industrialist continued his discourse out in that delightful vineyard oh yes cool cats having fun is so very essential to leading your field upgrading your life and inspiring the world all of the amazing creatives and productive icons of history had one thing in common you know tell us please requested the entrepreneur as her bangles made a clink clink sound her new wedding ring shimmered in the morning sunlight the billionaire flipped into a quick handstand then he then beat his chest fast with a single fist as he whispered these words to himself this day is priceless all the money in the world will not bring it back again and so i seize it and i and i savor it and i honor it this day i fill my mind with dream big dreams so there is no space for pretty doubts i replace the psychology of can't with the mentality of can and i remember that my greatest growth lies at the jagged edges of my highest limits this day i'll recall that until my mission becomes my my obsession my gifts will never become my glory and until my hunger to serve transcends the insecurities of myself i'll miss the grand chance of these precious hours to be a vehicle of helpfulness this day i reload my devotion to avoid a counterfeit and ability staying sincere humble with both feet on this sacred ground should nay sayers and bad actors throw back throw rocks at me i reply with kindness and love in the face of their bad behavior even if they don't deserve it should critics make fun of me as they always have since i was a kid i'll take the rocks they throw at me and make them into moments of mastery and should anyone call me strange as they often do i'll smile with a bland and wisdom stuck deep in my heart that it is only misfits odd odd boys and eccentrics that change our world being different in really cool and eccentric eccentricity is very hip it was quite a sensational scene stone really upside down beating his chest as if to activate his heart and reciting his poetry words are creative you know he articulated as he stood up and inhaled a big gulp of fresh france hook air speak the words of unchained hairs heroism talk the preach of passionate possibilitarian use the language of hope the sentencing of power and the hell and the phrasing of leadership and unbridled love i manage my words my words meticulously every morning okay all let's end up for today tomorrow let us continue reading the chapters of the book the 5 am club own your morning elevate your life by author robin sharma thank you for continuously listening to our recordings if you like the video please do like share and subscribe thank you
Hello everybody, welcome to our YouTube channel, Jai Shri Shivaji. Today, let us continue reading the chapters of the book, The 5 AM Club, On Your Morning, Elevate Your Life, by author Robin Sharma. The mainstream thinking tells us that to get more done, done, we must put in more hours. To achieve more, we need to do more. But solid research now confirms that the kind of linear approach, work harder to produce better, is seriously flawed. It isn't suitable. It just leads to burnout, exhaustion, loss of inspiration and the reduction of your private fire to leave the field and enhance our world. That old school way of operating also causes a visceral depletion of the every human resource, which if applied intelligently will make you the master of your market marketplace. What you are sharing reminds me of the 60-10 method. Remark remarked the artist happily. He was dressed in, dressed in the riding gear the billionaire had provided and given his own daily practice to the 2020-20 formula as a member in this